Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to explain you everything what you need to know about Hyper-V which is being installed on Windows Server or on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And after this video you will know everything about Hyper-V and what Hyper-V is. So let's start by discussing what is Microsoft's Hyper-V. Hyper-V is a virtualization technology developed by Microsoft that allows users to create and manage virtual machines or VMs on a single physical computer or server and it is a type 1 hypervisor meaning it runs directly on the hardware bare metal to provide virtualization capabilities rather than being installed on an existing operating system like type 2 hypervisors AGVM workstation for example or virtual box which we have been also reviewing here on TechWolf channel. So first thing to know about Hyper-V is that it is being installed directly on your hardware rather than being installed installed on an operating system. And that's why Hyper-V is considered to be a type 1 hypervisor virtualization technology. And here are the key features of Hyper-V. Virtual machine creation. You can create and run multiple virtual machines with different operating systems, Windows, Linux and many others on a single host machine. Resource allocation. Allows precise control over CPU, memory, storage and network resources allocated to each virtual machine machine, snapshots and checkpoints, enables taking snapshots of virtual machines which can be restored to revert changes or recover from errors. Live migration, supports moving running virtual machines between hosts with minimal downtime, high availability and clustering. Hyper-V integrates with Windows Server failover clustering which is also known as WSFC to provide high availability for virtual machines. Nested virtualization. Hyper-V allows running Hyper-V inside a virtual machine useful for testing and development scenarios and the integration services of Hyper-V. It provides tools and services for seamless interaction between the host and virtual machines, improving performance and management. And here are the use cases of Hyper-V. Server consolidation. Combine multiple physical servers into fewer machines to save space, reduce power usage and lower cost and another use case of Hyper-V is development and testing. Developers can test software on different operating systems and configurations without needing a separate hardware. Disaster recovery. Hyper-V's replication feature ensures quick recovery of critical workloads in case of hardware failures. And Hyper-V in cloud computing. Hyper-V forms the backbone of Microsoft's Azure cloud services enabling scalable cloud solutions. Hyper-V is available in several forms. First one would be as part of Windows Server, full featured version with advanced management tools. This means that if you are installing Windows Server, which we will be doing in next video, Hyper-V is installed there by default. Second edition or form of Hyper-V is Hyper-V Server Standalone, a free lightweight version without a graphical interface. This means that you can also use a Hyper-V without a graphical interface. And third form of Hyper-V, how you can get it is Windows 10, Windows 11, Pro and Enterprise versions. It doesn't come with other Windows versions like Windows Home. If you are using Windows 10 or 11 Home editions, you will not have Hyper-V installed there by default. And in Windows 10 and Windows 11 Pro, so as in Enterprise version, it includes a basic version of running virtual machines and desktop environments. And Hyper-V is widely used in Enterprise environments due to its integration with Microsoft's ecosystem, scalability and robust feature set. Mm -hmm. 